Skit, Wogan, and Elan. That's your field. Packed and stacked, ready to go now. Waiting for the drop of green. Watch Braith to go early. Nice even dispatch from the Junior City and Top Stars. As Peel and Hogan make the move through one and two to be one and two. Rigby alongside Barnaco for what would be third spot. Barnaco way up on the boards through three. That's 75 of Hogan still backfiring as he makes his way through the final corner. As Peel gets a bit of a lead. Down the back straight they go, Indian file. Peel, Hogan, Rigby, Barnaco, McDonald, Muscat, Wogan and Elan. Line astern as a laps tick away. Rigby gets a bit crossed up through turn two. Let's Barnaco right into the back bumper. Has Barnaco got anything for Rigby through the final two corners? Goes down low on the racetrack. Makes slight contact with the with the uh, 27. As the musket machine again bouncing off the limiter. As it makes its way down the main straightaway, but Peel with the commanding lead is your race leader. From Hogan, Rigby and Barnaco. No change in the order. But Muscat and Wogan now coming up to the back of the 88 machine. Still your leader. No change in the front four. Rigby might be ever so closely gaining ground on the uh, 75 machine, which continues to uh, cough and splutter when he's off the gas. A very tame race from the top stars. But Curtis Peel is a dominant force out in front. Does Rigby have anything for Hogan? Twenty-seven machines still closing. Laps ticking by as Elon's about to get to showing the passing flag. As Curtis is goes to make a move down the inside. Still Hogan in second, but he is slowing. Rigby now has got the nose underneath. Can't make a pass. Wogan gets the passing flag this time by. As Hogan gets right up to the fence, give it a light touch. Wogan down the back straight. Holds his line as Peel is going to go round the outside. No, the inside through turn number four. Hogan still your next one in second. He's got a lap car between him and Rigby. Barnacote's not falling away. He's still there as well. The big battle's on for fifth spot. Between McDonald and Muscat. McDonald gets a bit out of shape. Muscat into the rear. McDonald heads for the fence and makes heavy contact. I'd say something has pushed itself onto one of the belts as he tried to start it there. Sounds like there is some bodywork rubbing on a pulley. Yeah, there's all uh, liquid leaking li out of the front of the uh, car, so uh, they've done something, I'd say, to the either water pipe or water pump at the front of the motor. But he has Australian number two, Braith Hogan, right behind him. As they come around for a start, 
and away they go. And there's a bit of an overlap there as they cross the cone. We'll have to see how it plays out, but we're going to say green as he makes tries to make a move on the inside of Peel. Peel says nah and shuts the door and fires the number 11 down the main straightaway. Now Hogan tries to go down the bottom again. Taps that inside of Peel, who closes the door once more. Barnacoats on the outside of Rigby has to get into that fight. Gets all out of shape. Big tank slapper on the main straightaway, but holds on to it. But it's still Peel from Hogan. Then Rigby. Elon goes under. Logan down there in turn number two. Peel's got the uh, lead back out. So a couple of car lengths. As Elon and Wogan battling for that final spot. Curtis Peel in the Nashies Produce, number 11. Bundaberg car. But Braith Hogan from Rockhampton right there. Trying to make a move through one and two once again. It's right behind Curtis Peel now, and there's some smoke now coming from the back of Brace car. The white flag's gonna come out, one lap to go. Some tire squealing now as they go across some of that slick racetrack. Two corners to go for Curtis Peel. Oh, and he hits those bumps hard. It's a bit crossed up, but here's your winner. Brad Hogan will get home for second in a great race. Josh Rigby gets home for third. And Barnacoats actually retired one lap from the end. And Mitch Wogan will get home for fourth. Fantastic driving from the Junior City and Stop Stars. Braith Hogan with the fastest lap during that one, a 21.08. Wasn't Curtis at all, but uh, our still Curtis is our winner. Great feature race win as well. So Brandon makes the uh, dash back to the uh, pit area to jump in his race car for the street stock final. Big thanks to J.A. Toft once again. They are our sponsors for both sections of the juniors. And uh, great to see J.A. Toft once again being on board for the juniors for their full round. Give him a cheer, folks, as he's coming down the back chute there. Fantastic drive by Curtis Peel from the Bundaberg Sedan Car Club. This is his home track. He just loves racing here and well and truly knows his way around these race tracks um, up, the, up and down the coast. He's uh, travelled a fair distance um, to go racing in different places and taken on quite a few uh, championships and whatever else. And as I said, just grown and grown in speed, getting so much faster. We'll send him over to Brad to have a, uh, a quick word over there in the middle. I'll go green very shortly. Well, Curtis, that's the way you want to finish tonight, mate, with a feature win. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I'd like to thank um, Mum, Dad, um, Pop, all my sponsors, um, BL, BL Quarries, Mega Motorcycles, Fix It Auto Records and Nashie's Produce. No worries, mate. Well, best of luck and hopefully we see you at your next meeting. Thank you.